Imagine someone tells you, well, you know what, uh, I can tell you your future. What's the true answer? If someone were to tell you, I can tell you your future, what are you going to tell them? I don't want to know it, and I don't believe you know it. And even if you think you know it, you don't. I remember a friend, a friend of mine, and I've said this before, some of you might have heard it. He was at an airport, and there was a guy who comes up to him. He was walking with his wife. He says, I can tell you your future for $70. He says, I don't want to know it. I can tell you your future for $70. And he kept walking with them. You know, in some countries, people are insisting on selling you something. They walk for a mile with you, and they want to sell you these things. I don't know if you've seen that in some countries. I'll tell you your future for 70 bucks. I don't want to know it. He kept walking. He kept walking. I tell you your future for $50. He kept walking. I tell you your future for $30. He kept walking. And then there came a time when he sat down with his wife and he was now, you know, ready to, to fly out. And this guy comes and sits next to him and says, I tell you your future for five bucks. You're going to live for 70 years and this and this. And he started rattling things. This guy is not interested. I'm not interested in what you're telling me. I don't want to know. When he finishes, he says, right, give me my five dollars. He says, look, I didn't want to know anything. You owe me five bucks. I told you your future. He says, listen, if you didn't even know that I'm not going to give you five dollars, how would you know my future? Simple, right? You didn't even know the five bucks is not coming in your direction. And you want to come and tell me, I can tell you what's going to happen. You're dying in 70 years. Forget about 70 years. The next seven minutes you don't know. <laughs> So the same applies with these fortune tellers of the time. You know, Allah Almighty says, Shaitan says uh, 99 lies and gives, throws one truth at you. Throws one truth at you. So you're really confused because you think, oh wow, that's so true, you know. That's so true. And then you start believing the lies as well. And he makes a fool of you and a mockery of everyone. He says to the Pharaoh, the fortune teller, that someone is going to take this kingdom away from you. Who is he? Well, he's a boy born to Banu Israel. And he will be born one of the odd years. Well, I'm going to kill them. He says, you can do that. So this guy comes and starts killing Musa alayhi salam against all odds. When Allah wants something, nothing can stop it. Wa'lam anna al-ummata law ijtama'at. You need to know that if the entire nation gets together to harm you, they will never be able to harm you except with that which Allah has written against you. 